What is a rain screen and should I use one? Hey, I'm Josh Beasley with Eco Panels of Tennessee. This is a question we have received several times, so we wanted to address it. Uh, first off, basically a rain screen is just adding a layer of space between your outside wall and whatever you intend to cover uh, your house with, whatever your exterior siding is going to be. And so what we're looking to do is maybe add a inch or so worth of airspace along this wall and uh, the the name is maybe a little little misleading we're not wanting rain to go behind this by no means right but what we're creating is that space just so some air can flow through that cavity it separates your siding from being in direct contact with your ex exterior skin which is typically osb at Eco Panels of Tennessee, we like to use a lot of zip. A lot of our customers do this. Uh, so that has your uh, vapor and wind barrier already attached to the OSB, but it's still a good idea to create that little bit of space with a rain screen to allow for some air movement. So what that's gonna do, if some moisture was to get trapped, was to lead in behind your siding, whatever you're gonna use, that just allows it to dry out. It's getting that airflow. That airflow is going to wick that moisture away and you're not going to have just this constant wetness working against your OSB and your siding. Uh, the other thing it does is really creates another little bit of a thermal break, right? So our SIP walls are incredibly efficient, but if you separate the exterior siding from that wall, you've got that little bit of an air pocket in there again it creates a thermal break um, and just increases the efficiency of your home and very likely will increase the longevity of your siding. That's another kind of benefit of the rain screen is where that siding's not in direct contact with the wall, typically it may allow that siding to hold up even a little bit better over time. Um, especially if you're using a fiber cement siding I'm not going to name brands, but you're, you're going to be familiar with them, I'm sure. Fiber cement has a, j just naturally wicks moisture out of the air. Cement, concrete is a kind of a wet product, okay? It's porous. It draws in moisture. So whenever you have that cement, fiber cement product, it's always a good idea to have it off and away from your OSB. Now, what do you use to, to create the fur? Um, I've seen a lot of people use like a treated one by two, maybe something along those lines. You're going to space those out. It's really going to depend on your siding, what you're using. Kind of need to go back to them, look at what their fastening detail is. Most of them have furring strip or rain screen specifications. That will lead you down the path of how you need to attach the rain screen, attach your siding, all those things. But Yes, is a, is a rain screen a good idea? Yes. Does it cost a little bit more? Sure. You've got to do the, the furring strips, the fasteners, and the time. But you're going to, to gain some longevity. You're going to gain some benefit out of that over time. We think it's just generally a good idea to do. If you'd like more information on structural insulated panels and what we do here at Eco Panels of Tennessee, visit our website, continue to browse our YouTube station, and listen, we're always open to having you visit us here. We would love to see you. Uh, come check us out.